All I can say is don't drink and drive. If you have been drinking at all, call a parent. If you're nervous about calling a parent, if you have an aunt, an uncle, anybody out there that you could call to come pick you up and take you home, I urge you to call them to come get you and take you home. Anybody would be more than happy to get up at 2, 3 in the morning and come and get you and take you home rather than get up the next morning and find out you were killed in an accident because you were drinking and driving. And I'm pretty sure I can speak for every parent here today, uh, for every parent out there. They would much rather get up at 3 in the morning and go pick their child up than have to go down and identify them at the hospital. And, and as I said, no parent should ever be forced to feel guilty because their child is alive. And that's what happens. Uh, I can't express the proper amount of sympathy for parents that have lost children because of these situations. I definitely can't express enough sympathy to the parents of the children that were lost in my daughter's accident. They will never have their children back. Uh, all they have now is a tombstone to go and talk to. And I feel guilty because I can still go talk to my daughter. Even if it's behind bars, I can still go visit her. I can still talk to her. They can't, and they never will again. And my heart just pours to them. I, my daughter lives, so I can't imagine what it would be like to be on the other side of that, uh, to have to put a child in the ground. I can't even begin to think what that would be like. I hope and pray I never, ever have to find out or never have to bury a child because of a situation like this. But it happens. And we, we've got to do something about this. If, if we can get through to, if we can get through to three or four kids in this school today, that's three or four less we need to worry about making bad decisions and ruining their lives.